I've highlighted before how for patients with shoulder complaints, my orthopedic evaluation almost always includes repeated movement testing of either the neck, mid back or shoulder. And for shoulder repeated movement testing, I've demonstrated functional internal rotation or bringing the hand up the back. I've demonstrated how I also use shoulder extension as a repeated movement test. And another common repeated movement test I use with shoulders is shoulder horizontal adduction or adduction. And that is just simply bringing the arm across the body. And unlike other repeated movement tests where I start with movement without overpressure, because of the nature of this movement, I'm always having the patient start the motion by adding some overpressure to the patient's tolerance, of course. But we just get so much further when we add that overpressure. And so as a repeated movement test, I'm doing 10, 15 or so of these, and then reassessing the patient's symptoms and signs. Did range of motion change? Did strength change? Did nerve tension change? Did a functional movement like a push-up change? That's what repeated movement testing is. It's very cause and effect. As a reminder, I find about 50% of patients' shoulder complaints are fixed with simply moving either the neck or the mid-back. And there's another large chunk that are easily fixed with one or two movements of the shoulder done repeatedly. So when we use repeated movement testing, it will tell us if there's a simple movement or two that will fix the disorder. And by fixing the disorder, I mean abolishing symptom and signs just with those one or two movements. So for the shoulder, with repeated movement testing, it often reveals that horizontal adduction is indeed the movement that will fix the disorder. And again, I'm going to overpressure quickly. And the other thing to note about this movement in particular is that while I usually have patients keep their upper extremity parallel to the floor, in very rare cases, I'll have to alter the angle of the shoulder a little bit up or down just to find the movement that's unique to that patient and fixes their disorder.